A very good morning. Today, I, Gitanjali, pupil teacher of Inspiration College of Teacher Education, is going to discuss on leadership concept and the contain of innovation and change. Let us start with leadership. Who is a leader? A person who influences a group of people towards the achievement of a goal. A good leader inspires others. Honesty is the good habit of a leader. One who has decision-making capabilities. These all qualities make a good leader. Next, let us go with the meaning of leadership. The action of leading a group of people or an organization. Leadership is the act of motivating a group of people to act toward achieving a common goal. Leadership is the ability of an individual or a group of individual to influence and guide follower or other member of an organization. Next, let us discuss the definition of leadership. Leadership is the ability to exert interpersonal influence by means of communication towards the achievement of the goal. Codes and O'Donnell Leadership is an influence in which the person who occupy the position of leader influence the other individual. Cards and Khan Next, we will move on to the different style of leadership, which can be categorized as follows. Number one is authoritarian leadership style. It is also known as autocratic leadership. The leader will exercise complete control on subordinates. Number second is democratic leadership style. It is also known as participatory leadership. Here, the decision would be taken after consultation. So, the leader would always go to subordinate, consult him, and then he would take a decision. Number third is laser fair leadership style. It is also known as free reign. Here, it is complete dedication. This is appropriate when a subordinate are well trained and knowledgeable. Now, my friend, let us discuss on the type of leadership. According to Ampit Follett, leadership can be categorized in three types. Number one is post related leadership, number second is personality related leadership, number third is Leadership related to work and efficiency. The summary can be given as the leadership can be divided on the basis of post, on the basis of personality and on the basis of work analysis. Moving on, let us discuss the quality of a leader, which can be as follows. Attractive personality is important for a leader. Because a leader creates followers. High intelligence. Because to solve the problematic situation. Initiative. Initiative nature make a person a good leader. Adjustability. A leader can adjust with condition and people. Self-confidence. Is must for a leader. Good physical health. As a healthy mind, stay in a healthy body. Organizing capacity. Cooperative. A leader need to cooperative with a team. Strong willpower. Strong willpower helps a leader to tackle situation. Extroversion. Empathy. Empathy is a capacity to understand another person's point of view or the result of such understanding. 
high social sentiment dynamic and flexible behavior command over language and communication skill decision making power optimistic viewpoint good mental health expression power popularity a popular leader successfully creates a good amount of impact these all are the qualities of a leader now let us move and discuss here the function of leader planner leader must be good planner in order to achieve desired goal goal setter leader is one who set the goal creating confidence a leader is not only confidence but create confidence among the team member motivating employees a leader has the strength of motivating employees executive a leader not only set the goal but is enough capable to executing them building morale of team member will be the function of the leader now let us discuss the importance of leadership which are as follow initiating action providing motivation providing guidance creating confidence building work environment coordination creating successor induce change these all will be importance of leadership now my dear friend after completing leadership let us now discuss on innovation the meaning of innovation the action or process of innovating innovation is a new idea creative thought new imagination in form of device or method innovation is the application of better solution that meet new requirement and needs after this let us discuss the true meaning of innovation this diagram help us to complete and understand it first of all let us see what is desired to uh, what is desirable to user this is a very basic question yet the key of innovation it is utmost importance to in innovate keeping in mind and the needs of user number second is what is possible with technology once knowing the desire the user it is important to see whether it is possible to create with present technology number third is what is variable in the market place the last point to remember is that the product is acceptable in market place moving on let us talk about the definition of innovation innovation is change that create a new dimension of performance said by peter tucker next i uh, next is uh, i define innovation as executing new ideas to create value said by tim castle innovation is the successful implementation of creator ideas within an organization said by tirsa ambella characteristic of innovation there is an object or target which is being changed it can be a product a process an individual lifestyle an organization strategy a society culture innovation vary in extent or magnitude that this is degree to which one divides from the past it is closely related 
to problem solving since generation an implication of ideas for change never transpire without difficulty a final characteristic is the impact of change the significance or range of its effect here as you can see the root of innovation ideas imagination reason inspirations analysis motivation thinking outside the box contemplation now let us discuss the type of innovation which is of three type number 1 is product innovation product innovation can be of two type number 1 is development of new product number second is improvement of existing product next one is process innovation innovation in techniques of producing good which reduce cost increase production number third is service innovation innovation in service now let us see why is innovation important it is to prevent the erosion of value education to improve education system for all round development of student for the scientific and technical development here let us now discuss the goal of innovation improving quality creating new market better learning process reducing labor cost improving production process reducing material reducing environmental damage replacement of product and services reducing energy consumptions conformation to regulation now here discuss the selection process and situation of innovation selection from the point of view of education the selection of innovation is done by the principal of the institution and receiving by the teacher and the students its effectiveness depends on the medium of communication under this doordarshan radio tape recorder video games two method are used to select it first method officer innovation selection method second method collective innovation selection method process the following step in the process of innovation have been followed number 1 is acquiring knowledge number 2 is curiosity in the mind number 3 is testing number 4 is evaluation number 5 is acceptation creating favorable condition for innovation it is necessary to understand the concept of innovation and the recipient must accept the innovating innovation itself the innovation should be widely accepted by forming small modules and the recipients should be consulted while planning work together to achieve innovation and divide into modules of two or three for quick successor moving will be beneficial now after discussing innovation we will move on to discuss change the meaning of change change means to replace one thing from another or to become different change is something that pressure us out of our comfort zone change is for the better or for the worse depending on where you viewed it change has an adjustment period which vary on the individual definition of change the act process or result of ma- making or becoming different 
something that is different from what is usual or accepted. The act of becoming different or of causing something, someone or something to become different. Here, let us know, discuss the basic difference between innovation and change. Innovation. Innovation is constructive, positive and corrective, while change occurs both in good and bad form. Innovation is done consciously. It is not necessary to have a conscious state for change. Innovation leads to superiority. Change does not have to be perfect. Every innovation falls under the category of change. Not every change can be called innovation. Innovation happens to gain good standing. Change can occur in both good and bad situation. I hope you must have get a good gesture of understanding leadership concept and the contain of innovation and change. Thank you for watching.